Wow, okay, great. Um, yeah, so my group works on developing uh, new computational methods for analyzing brain imaging data, particularly with a focus on brain network dynamics. Mm -hmm. A good example of this is the um, hidden Markov model, where we look to model ongoing brain activity as being made up of a sequence of uh, brain states, uh, where each brain state is characterized by a distinct functional uh, brain network. And we apply this to a bunch of different types of data, including MEG and fMRI and invasive electrophysiology. Much of what we can do uh, is described as temporally unconstrained, which is making this talk a little bit tricky, to be honest. Um, a good example of that is estimating the timing of brain network activity uh, in task data on the individual trial level with high temporal precision. And that allows us to analyze new types of experiments with very naturalistic timing between different parts of the experiments. <laughs> And finally, we can use these features of the brain network dynamics to give us new and uh, unique uh, biomarkers um, in analyzing and understanding clinical uh, disorders such as uh, bipolar and um, Alzheimer's disease. Ooh, blimey. <laughs> <laughs> so the, um, the hidden Markov model is fantastic. It's um, been really useful, but it's got some strong deficiencies. In particular, it only models short-range uh, interactions and information about the brain activity. And we know the brain is highly structured at a, a range of timescales, particularly over long uh, timescales. So we're using new techniques from deep learning that are explicitly designed to capture this long-range temporal information. Uh, this includes techniques like uh, recurrent neural networks and attention-based models. On the right-hand side is an example of some recent work being done by Cam Higgins uh, in our group. He's looking at using uh, MEG to understand a replay of memories and how they spontaneously reactivate in ongoing resting MEG data. So he's used the hidden Markov model to identify a replay uh, in the resting state, and he can show that this, uh, re these replays occur in a top-down uh, cascade of whole brain network dynamics, which is actually in reverse compared to when the memory is being encoded. And finally, these replay events actually seem to very strongly uh, co-occur with the resting state networks we normally look at. Thank you. Thank you.